Hi everyone, we are going to have a look and see what is coming through for your reading. I hope you are doing well. And let me just grab these cards. This is for all star signs. So if you're here, hello and welcome. Um, we are going to have a look, see what's happening. Also, if you'd like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do giveaways every single month. Um, also, if you wanted to purchase any personal services with me, I offer them on my website, shopmoonlightguidance.com, personal tarot readings, rituals to manifest different areas of your life, black magic energy removal, healing work, prayers, and there is so much more. Um, on there as well. So you can definitely check it out if you are interested. Um, there's also the, um, yeah, so all the services are on there, but there's also the intention items, which are handmade, meditated with and saged on there, which are really special. Thousands of five-star reviews at the bottom of my website. There's bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards, embellished patches. These are items you can put under your pillow, your wallet, or your purse, um, or carry with you. The stage bundles, candles, teas, etc. So for lots of different intentions, it's all there. And yeah, check it out if you're interested. All right, let's have a look and see. So this, I feel, is a love reading, okay? Because I've got the <laughs> Romance Angel Oracle cards here. So let's see what's coming through. Oh, attraction. Powerful. Mm, okay, let's see. All right, so now what I feel here is really, really quite significant is that, well, I mean, look, you've got reconciliation energy here. We've got attraction. Now, I feel very, very heavily that both of you feel so physically attracted to one another that if you were together alone, things would happen. You know, you would be affectionate with one another for sure and intimate perhaps as well with one another. The thing here that I see is that you both want to like literally devour, you know, each other. I know that sounds a little graphic, but you just, you know, you have such immense attraction and feelings towards one another that it is extremely powerful and undeniable. And you just both know it, right? You both know it. The only problem here, well, actually, I don't think it's a problem, but the only thing here, okay, is that there are karmics around, especially in regards to people that they, now karmics are not necessarily like third parties, but it could be, okay, some of you could be in a third party. Karmics are people that come into a person's life to teach them lessons, and they have had some karmics around them, so there could have been some, you know, superficial people that like come in, want to have conversations with them, and could be really, you know, teaching them that they need to be much more mature, could be teaching them that, they need to be much more understanding. And basically what I see in the grand scheme of things is that there is a very, very powerful energy here of them having karmic people in their life. And what I mean by that is that they've had, you know, some like immature people in their life who have taught them that they, you know, are not being kind or caring or mature enough and that it actually ends up ruining their life, if that makes sense. So your person sometimes can be very superficial and they can be, um, superficial only because of these karmics and these superficial friends and people that come into their life and then they realize that actually by being superficial they're not helping themselves in their life and they're actually just attracting worse people in their life and just becoming worse in terms of their energies and emotions so with that being said what i see here is that the karmics are really annoyed that your person doesn't care about them anymore so that's really interesting, isn't it? It just goes to show that your person wants to grow. Your person cares tremendously about you. Your person is, because we've got here unrequited love, at one point things were quite unrequited between you and your person, but their feelings towards you are just growing and getting stronger. They may have even dece like deceived you before and created this deception energy towards you, but they really do care. And I feel here, if anything, they feel deceived by the karmics, okay? Whether it's romantic or platonic friends, these karmic people came into their life to teach them that this kind of energy is not for them, basically. And so now they are starting to realize and feel like, wow, you're not that kind of person. You are my kind of person. I want to be with you and I don't want to be around these kinds of low vibrational energies anymore. So what they're actually doing here is releasing, it because it says here, the time has come to clear your energy. They are releasing and clearing their energy of these not so great, low vibrational people who are karmics. If there's a third party involved, again, can be a karmic, okay? If there is a romantic person that you know that they are involved with or a person that they keep talking to, 
they will eventually release this person. I know it says release your ex, but these are like, you know, ex-friends, ex-people that they are around. Um, they will make them an ex, okay? <laughs> is what I'm seeing, even if it's a friend, ex-friend. Um, but they're gonna, they're gonna let go of these people because they're not good. Because basically what's happening is that paying attention to the red flags of what these people are causing in their life. These people are causing chaos in their life. Th these people are causing frustrations in their life. These people are making them lose opportunities by giving them bad advice, by being very abrupt and very invalidating towards them. Your person doesn't like that. You know, your person likes you because you're kind and caring and genuine and you know what you want in life. You know, so what they're realizing is, wait a second, I'm going to love myself first. I'm going to figure out myself first. I don't want to be in this low vibrational energy. I want to take care of myself. So let me do me and put myself first. Then we've also got here children, your love life is being affected by children. Okay, whether there are actual like physical children involved in the situation. Um, but you know, you know the other thing that relates to children is the immature energy of these karmics literally treating your person like a child and treating situations like children, you know, not being mature. So it's being affected by these karmics who literally act like children. Okay, so that's another thing I wanted to mention. I mean, union between you both is close and I think you can feel it, okay? Because they're letting go of past situations that no longer serve them. They are trying to move forward for that, from that. Even if the karmics are mad and the karmics are begging to stay in your person's life, your person's not having it from what I see. Your person wants to be with you. They want to reconcile. And that's really, really significant. Very, very significant. Yep, the situation is calling for you to have faith. And quite clearly, they have faith in you. You know, they have faith that you are the right person for them. They have faith that you are you are the person, okay? We've also got worth waiting for. You know how I feel about waiting. I never recommend waiting because waiting leads to more waiting. But in the grand scheme of things, they feel that you are like the right person for them. You know, they feel that you, they would wait for you if they had to in an alternate universe in an alternate <laughs> situation you know that they would wait for you like how maybe once you waited for them but divine timing is at work in your love life keep doing you taking care of yourself putting yourself first and they will naturally come to you religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path i think because you're much more mature and you're much more understanding your person you know kind of went away from that but now they're realizing that actually that's everything they wanted and they should have worked on themselves they're actually coming towards you because they're starting to understand your worth and your value which before they had a huge trouble and difficulty understanding now they understand that now they want to be around you now they get you and they want to be with you in the past they had a real difficulty in understanding it but now they totally get it and that's obviously really important now some of you may have a different cultural background you may be from different religions you may have different um, thoughts and world views um, which could be you know political views it could be um, also different views in regards to things that you believe in you know you might believe in ghosts and they might not and they might think you're insane but you you know, <laughs> things like that, okay? <laughs> like you might have different views basically in, in all different ways. But what I'm trying to say here is that you have common ground, which is your values. And I really feel here as well that, you know, there could be people in the family that maybe don't accept them or feel like they did you wrong. So, you know, they don't deserve another chance, things like that. So it can be basically affected by your upbringing and things like that but I just see here a very powerful energy this says forgiving and learning so I do feel here it says as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments I do feel that the two of you will come back around I feel that things will come around but that they will be stronger they will be much more mature they're not going to be as dismissive of you they're not going to be as ununderstanding towards you they're going to be very kind and caring towards you and wanting to make things work so obviously that's a really powerful powerful energy from what I'm seeing here Ta-da! That's, that's literally what we have here. Ta-da! Um, let me grab some cards from this deck. I want to apologize. Yep, so they will come to you and apologize. They will be sorry about how they've treated you. 
We also have here, I'm upset with myself and Instagram message. So we see some activity on social media. Um, you know, they'll be upset with themselves in regards to how they've treated you. They're not going to be happy about that. But I do feel that a reconciliation will happen. Union is very close. Um, you both want each other from what I'm seeing. And the people of the past, the karmics, the people that were there to teach them lessons, um, yeah, are going to be mad and frustrated that they don't, that they're rejecting them. But your person knows that they want you. And at the end of the day, that is that, you know. So this is your reading. Really hope it helps you. Gave you lots of clarity. Um, comment down below the affirmation union is close. I feel like that's the affirmation for your reading. So comment it down below. I know that some of you feel it as well. And that is your affirmation. So, you know, if this reading resonates with you or if you claim it, don't get to like the video and subscribe, uh, comment down below and I will see you all very, very soon and take care everyone. Bye. Oh, and also I have TikTok and Instagram as well. I just thought I'd mention that. Um, I post short readings on there every single day. So if you wanted to follow me on there, feel free to do so um, since I post yeah short readings on there. And for sure, I will see you all very, very soon and take care everyone. And that's pretty much it. All right, take care. Bye.